All right, hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the eVenture Family channel and we've got another awesome update here on our Rivian. So today we're gonna to be talking about the latest software update, which brings a whole bunch of new audio features, including Apple Music and Audible, and brings Dolby Atmos uh, immersive surround sound to it, uh, but also introduces the Connect Plus uh, premium connectivity package, which right now we've got a free trial for, uh, but eventually we're gonna have to pay, and some existing Rivian owners are not too happy or enthused about. So let's break it all down and come on and let's drive. Let's ride. All right, so here are some of our highlights from the latest update. And we can see we now have software version 2024.27, and this is a big update with lots of different um, like music and other audio improvements. So let's look at the highlights first. So we have Apple Music now. Uh, you can get a three month subscription if you don't already have it, but we already do. And we can listen in spatial audio with Dolby Atmos, which is really cool. We're gonna test that out. We have Audible now and uh, also has select titles in Dolby Atmos, which I can't wait to listen to. I've heard a couple of them are super immersive and really, really cool. Let's look at the more fine grained details here. All right, we also have a 60 day trial of Connect Plus. So I think basically the best way to think of this is it is like a mobile data plan or cell phone plan for your car. So without it, you can still use pretty much everything. You just need a connection and that's gotta be over Wi-Fi. So if you're driving, obviously you need a mobile one. But what you can do is tether to your phone and you'll still have access to pretty much everything uh, with that. Uh, but if you buy this Connect Plus, then you will be able to have all of the streaming and stuff without needing to worry about tethering. You'll also have in-vehicle hotspot and uh, be able to do gear guard live streaming, which I guess you wouldn't be able to do if your phone uh, was with you and not in the vehicle when you're not with it. Uh, although that's not there yet, uh, it'll come in a future update. And so we have a 60 day trial of that Connect Plus. We'll see how much we're using that versus the ease of uh, tethering and uh, whether or not we wanna get that after there. So then we've also got Apple Music, Audible. We have improvements to the power outlets so that uh, you have more options for how you can use them there. Um, you, then a whole bunch of other little ones. So uh, they made some changes in navigation screen so that when there's a bunch of chargers together, they won't just be like all clustered together. It'll be a little bit more spread out and easier to see. You uh, also some like changes to the way that the incoming call panel comes up. They changed some of the 3D cell shaded night themes in here and uh, a couple of bugs that, that they've shown now like with uh, the visualization of the vehicle. And uh, improved third row climate fan speed, which is good for when the boys sit back there. We have some improvements now to Wi-Fi connectivity, including staying uh, active even when you shift out of park, which is good for tethering. It'll automatically use Wi-Fi at Rivian service centers and a couple other bug fixes and stuff here. And so we can see, here's some of the improvements here with like the clustering of the chargers. So like even around here now, you know, where we have huge concentration of them, like around New York and stuff, you can see like they just have them a little bit more spread out so they're easier to see now. Uh, the Apple Music app in here, which is really great. It looks like it fits in really well. It's styled very similarly to like the uh, Spotify app. It looks very similar. But we have a couple of different tabs and stuff here. And then you can see the ones that specifically are in spatial audio, uh, usually like denoted on here. And uh, we just have started listening to some and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'm really not like the biggest audiophile in the world, but um, I was like immediately blown away with how good it sounds. Uh, it's just like super immersive. You uh, can really hear like each individual speaker and for sure the um, bass all around the car. And it's not like it was bad before, but um, this is just like a totally different level where there's you know individual like tuning for each of the different speakers that are in here. I forget exactly how many there are, but uh, here in the Gen 1, I think it's like 16 or 18 maybe. And when you're normally listening to stuff, it'll kind of like up level stuff so that it um, you know is coming through all of them and everything. And you get a bit of like immersive sound, but this is a totally different level. And then the bass is just like absolutely thumping in here. So this is awesome. 
I don't know if this is going to come through on the microphone at all or not, but uh, I'm just going to give a little example here. I'll do a couple of seconds so we don't get coffee or right? right, and then here we'll do the same song on Spotify, which does not have spatial. So there's the same. So you can tell it's not like the biggest difference in the world, but uh, it's just a lot richer and more immersive with the Dolby Atmos one. And you can even see on here that it is specifically denoted that way. And then we were listening to some audible stuff here. You can see the UI for this is also, again, quite similar. Uh, a little bit, I guess, different with like some of the things here. So we have our list of stuff that we've been listening to here. And the ones of these that are like mixed in Dolby Atmos are amazing. It sounds like you're at a movie theater. You have like spaceships flying up over you and around you and stuff um i just i haven't been this blown away since honestly i got a demo of dolby atmos for the very first time in one of audible's uh special like testing studios when they were first working on mastering some stuff in dolby atmos um but it's amazing that it's gone from like you know this professional recording studio kind of uh testing lab type of thing that I'm sure cost like thousands of dollars at that point now to you know being available here in a passenger vehicle like the Rivian. All right, so here is the screen for upgrading to Connect Plus. So this is where you would buy it. So you can see $14.99 a month or $149.99 annually. And with it, you get hotspot connectivity, media app streaming, satellite map views, connected voice assistant, and priority software updates. So it actually turns out that if you buy this, you will be put at the front of the queue for software updates, as opposed to those who don't have this uh, will get updates later on, which, man, I don't know how I feel about that one. That's a little lame. Yeah, with this update overall, uh, I don't know, I'm starting to feel like Rivian is... Uh, at least some of the communication is a little bit less like customer obsessed than stuff has been in the past. Uh, things like that where you're paying for access to software updates and like where they're basically now putting some of these features and functionality behind a paywall that you didn't have before. Um, that stuff feels a little uh, just different to me in the way that they've handled a lot of the communication and stuff before. And it'll be interesting to see kind of how they continue to do this and like how they're setting themselves up, especially when they become a much more mass market and popular uh, and like populist, I guess, brand when the R2 and the R3 come out and so many more people are introduced to the brand. So they're going to be able to like keep doing things with uh, as like customer friendly of an outlook on it or we're going to see more and more stuff like this where they're starting to move toward, uh, you know, a little more, I wouldn't say this is like ruthless, but you know, mo moving at least more in that direction of like ruthless, um, uh, cost efficiency and uh, squeezing money out where they can. I don't know, we'll see. So I think overall I'm super happy with these updates. The Dolby Atmos sound especially through both Apple Music and Audible and even just having the access to those apps is incredible. I am like so, so happy and thrilled with them. I'm blown away with how great it sounds and I'm gonna be using this all the time. Plus it makes me even more excited now for when we eventually get like the video playback stuff, when we can watch a movie in here that is like mastered in um, Dolby uh, sound, that's gonna be just incredible, especially on the big screen here. I feel like we're gonna be doing like <laughs> movie nights in here uh, essentially. Or, like when we go camping and stuff for sure, we'll be listening in here. Uh, and absolutely when we're charging too, we'll be using that all the time. So I can't wait for all of that stuff to come later on too. I guess it means we probably will need this uh, premium connectivity package. Uh, although we're gonna keep testing it out. So far I've been tethering and it's working absolutely fine. Um, I have to see it through a couple of drives, like, you know, is it able to keep the connection pretty well? Do we have any issues with it? Is it a pain to just like manage it and stuff on your phone and on the screen here? Uh, but we'll keep checking that out and report back. But overall, I'm super happy with this update. Uh, I think it brings some nice features here. I don't love that Rivian is now basically, uh, in a way, removing functionality from people that have had it for a long time now. Uh, you know, like we've had this car now for about six months. Other people have had theirs for, you know, more like three years or so. And they've always had uh, free data on here, including the hotspot, plus, you know, all of his audio streaming and live traffic and everything, and didn't need to pay for any of that. 
and uh, now you know that's basically going behind a paywall. But if you look at the, the other way, uh, it is a $15 a month or $150 for the year, uh, basically like companion data plan. And compared to like other data plans, 15 bucks a month, really not too bad. Um, so I think probably we'll look at it that way and we probably will end up doing it. I mean, we were using the premium connectivity in the Tesla just to make it more convenient. And uh, I could see us doing that here as well. Or maybe just doing it month by month and using it on the ones like when we're doing road trips and stuff. Uh, but time will tell. Um, I do at least like that, you know, we've got Google Fi, so we have free hotspot tethering with our phones. So, uh, you know, that's always a good option for us as well. But it is interesting, uh, you know, Rivian is kind of out there on the bleeding edge of doing software updates. You know, obviously like them and Tesla um, and a few others are, you know, kind of out there. But, um, you know, we so far have been super happy with all of the software updates that Rivian has done, like adding all this additional functionality and features, uh, bringing, you know, Atmos around to the car. It's just amazing that a software update can basically make it feel like we have a brand new sound system in here. Plus, we're getting access to like more and more of the uh, different music streaming services now. And as Apple Music uh, users, this is really great to have. But then on the other hand, it is kind of a uh, in a way disappointing that like software updates can actually in a way take away functionality and features or you know at least put them behind paywalls uh, just a second but... all right well with all of that i hope you like this uh super quick look just at the latest updates here and if so please do like and subscribe ring that bell for notifications of other content here for um, us from other EV adventures, testing out other EVs and bringing you more news and reviews as well. With that, thanks for watching and we'll see you out there for another electric adventure soon.